Today I'm going to be taking you through the software and this is LMWay's a completely beginner tutorial that's going to help you uh, learn how the software works and how you can use different tools to your advantage and you know make music and be sure to subscribe and okay so this is how LMOS looks like don't get scared with the software pretty much uh, every software is it seems to be hard the first time but once you get through it and everything you can get to realize how things work and work your way up there is always a learning curve so don't worry okay so i'm gonna be looking at uh, the interface right away and uh, show you the exact tools and what they can do i'm gonna be precise with some tools because they are self-explanatory so so right here there is file right here at the corner so when just like any other software you have a new and it actually has a uh, a shortcut that is control plus n you, you actually create a new project uh, new from template so lmos has some designs template that you can use and open open is like you can open a saved uh, let's say somebody sent you uh, a project and you you want that to be opened up right away you can press control and go oh, all right here and it's gonna bring up a box whereby you can click onto a certain project that you want to open maybe in your catalog of projects that you have right here recent projects of course i've worked with uh, a lot of projects here in lmamo is a uh, control save uh, i mean save is control plus ace uh, you know these are some basic shortcuts that every computer use import importing is like you can to try and import a midi onto here like i have my midi right here i can maybe import that see it has come right away but i mean if you're a total beginner you're definitely gonna know what you you're not going to to know what that does what <laughs> export tracks so here you you export wave files and uh but right now that you know this project is empty so it makes no sense actually to import stuff but we'll get into that later on and export midi same thing uh, there is nothing here so you you cannot export anything right here so going on to the edit you do have the control plus that, that is the undo and redo and right here in settings is where you can uh, maybe if you have a midi i mean uh, an audio interface connected you can actually select one but right now i don't have an interface with me so um the audio settings pretty much the, this work for if you this can work for you if you have an audio interface and uh setting up the uh, enable auto save you know these are pretty much default settings that come with once you open up lmos and right here directories is where you can uh, they're like helpers showing you where lmos is keeping your stuff you know so this is where all my projects are just for this video demonstration i can copy that address and paste it around here and i see this is where all my projects are see these are all projects that i've worked on and going back to right here so this is where sound fonts are actually kept here vst plugins uh, but uh, some may not be looking like the way mine are looking but don't worry about that they'll be fine theme right here i can go ahead and change my theme type in your um on your on your browser and type in www.lmms.io and you go ahead and look uh, out for themes I, I do have some themes around I did save some lmms themes just select folder so once i restart my lmms it's definitely gonna change the theme yeah that's what's up that's what's up that that's what i'm talking about but so it definitely changed the look i'm gonna go back to settings so just to over exaggerate that if you wanna if you wanna change up a theme you can you can do that as well so All right, so this is one of my favorite theme. Okay, so but I want to go back to a default theme just because 
it is a beginner tutorial so we're back to the default theme of element mice right there so i'm going to go here in view 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 is like where you can uh, actually hide and bring up all these tools that are available for you you can bring up the mixer the control rack and the piano roll you know yeah tools and yeah i can start up a new project so right here um you can you do have the create new project create new project from template so create a new project from template if you choose like acoustic drum set it actually loads for you uh, those drum sets so um this is save this is the mixer so right here i think everything is self-explanatory besides the metronome the metronome is like once you turn it on in the play so that clicking sound is influenced by the bpm once you have a lower bpm something like i can double tap and maybe put in 90. pretty much like how fast a song moves once you have a, a high bpm like 118 it's gonna be different when you have something like a 75 so if you want to have a faster song you, you definitely gonna have to have uh, something like uh, maybe put 145 but usually like the trap songs so right here these are the minutes and see these are microseconds and seconds and i can actually change the time frame to beats bar beats and ticks yeah this is the master volume i would recommend you not to change anything around here because you don't want you don't want that and so moving ahead to this we actually saw this earlier on putting back stuff and these available tools uh we we're definitely gonna uh, embark on on this later on so right here at the at the left corner we do have the instrument plugin so the instrument plugins is actually uh elements has a lot of uh instrument plugins that are available like the audio processor so the audio processor is where you can uh drag in a sample if you had an audio file uh i'm gonna look up in some of my kids so you can actually drag in a sample like um if you double tap and it actually comes in whereby you can play around with the uh, with the wave file that is, that is what the audio processor does and i can go ahead and remove that and i'll further talk about this uh, later on in the video so the bit inventor is like a synthesizer something like that kind of like an emulation of uh, you know the old game the old bleak games that we used to have you know and i can actually trick around this and by the way don't mind me doing all this kind of stuff that i'm gonna go ahead and explain all these tools what they do later on in the video so yeah so i'm just looking at the the available instruments that element Miss gives you so we do have the free boy and by the way i did actually mention this but you just drag and drop it right here on the song editor yeah that's what's up so these are like emulations of those old games that we used to so the g gi gig players this is a different one You're supposed to get the gig files and you know load them up into here the kicker is like a just like its name it's just a kick kind of a synthesizer whereby you can work around this knobs and get the, the kick that you want and i know you know that kick you know it <laughs> a total big. so the mallet is like a, it's also a different instruments and it has here some designed presets like um, the vibrato so that's the mallet and uh, the nitro all these pretty much do the same thing 
besides the, the sound font. So the sound font, this is actually a sound font player. So in order for you to use a sound font player, you must have sound fonts. I do have a whole bank of sound fonts down in the link description. Yeah, you can go ahead and download sound fonts and to access them, it's really simple. All you gotta do is to press right here and once you uh, save, once you have sound fonts downloaded, they will actually show up here. And you know, sometimes it doesn't open up right here. You can go ahead and browse them around. Let's say I have my sound font in my downloads. I can go ahead in my downloads and you know, load up the sound fonts. You, you know, personally, I actually saved my sound font with this directory. See users, Arnold documents, my samples, and sound fonts, um, which takes me back to uh, right here as we were right here in my settings in my directory. Uh, when I go to SF2 directory, this is the exact uh, directory that once I press here, this is what shows up actually. It's very good to be organized and have your sound fonts placed in one folder and you actually allocate it right here so that every time you press this it, uh, the sound force actually show up uh, like uh, and you have uh, other sounds in uh, embedded in, in in the sound font so that's the sound font player for you though and i'm gonna go ahead and look at uh the vst the vst is uh these are also different you're supposed to download them you know there, there is a lot of free vst uh, plugins and you can actually look out for free i actually have a video talking about free vst plugins um like the keyzone classic that's the piano if you if you're looking out for realistic piano uh plugins definitely you should check out keyzone classic and if you want to load up a vst plugin you're actually gonna come here and click right here and as I said right there, I set it up my, my folders right there in LMOMS. So that every time I click here, it's going to bring up this page where I saved all my plugins. I can go ahead here and show you that right here in settings and go to directory. So uh, see this directory, see program files, pl VST plugins. That's where I saved all my plugins. So once I click, right here on the folder it's definitely gonna load up all the plugins that i saved in this folder as i said earlier on it's easy and it's advised to have all your plugins in one folder and yeah see all plugins have a common thing extension dll every time you see dot dll file that is uh, a plugin so I was talking about the Keyzone Classic earlier on and the company that makes Keyzone Classic is actually the Bitsonic. So yeah, right here, Bitsonic. So once you click in, you see it has this, uh, this is actually what you click in, double tap, and it will actually open up a plugin, Keyzone Classic. Uh, this is what I'm talking about. And not only this, uh, there's a ton of free plugins out there. These are all, um, uh, I mean, DSK has a lot of free plugins. I'll definitely link this uh, in the description down. And yeah, a solid one. And so these are all things that you need in your arsenal if you're on this for a long time you know what i'm saying so i want to talk about the the zin sub fx which is a synthesizer and then this thing is a monster you can it actually does sound design once you click right here it actually has a lot which i won't explain for now but yeah so pretty much this is where you can load up your your instruments um 
once i go here my projects i told you once you start doing projects they will definitely come and show up here uh, for example i can actually press here and discard so i'll definitely have uh, one of my recent projects that i was working on and elements comes with demo demo songs that you can actually look at and yeah see how it works i can maybe choose you can actually choose what you want so these are already made tracks these are demo tracks yeah i won't go much you can go ahead and look through all those so i want to look at samples samples these are like uh, uh a sample just like the name it's just like a kick sample a bass sample you know something sampled from an instrument and it's put here you may you might not have this because this is my drum kit i am zod and it's definitely free you can go ahead and check that out but you do have bass these are all samples you have bass loops drums these are drum samples that are actually sampled from there's a whole bunch of catalog where you can actually choose and you know as i told you just drag and drop there before i talk about different different workflows in elements so you do have the drum synth um see by the way these are all opened up in audio processor as i told you me opening up i actually pressed down there so yeah so you can go ahead and check out these drum samples that are going to help you out when you are making your beats and definitely these are also samples see i can also try out these okay and by the way these audio files you can actually put them here on the sample track that you're seeing here right here and to put that up you can click in once and uh, drag like a guitar right here and you put it right there maybe if it is long enough you can actually see it <laughs> going to my presets these are presets that are designed from uh, these instruments that we saw earlier on so um, you can actually try them out the audio processor definitely has its own the beat inventor these are specific uh, customized sounds the same with the triple oscillator you know so definitely worth trying out arpeggios bass brass you know all these stuff and right here i do have you can actually bruise stuff here nothing crazy i'm gonna go ahead and look at the song editor uh, and not only the song editor but beats slash the baseline editor uh the fx mixer plus what else the automation track Okay, so be sure to watch them too.